I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back to another day of at home learning but in this moment we are all together as Brahmins. I want you to remember that even though we can't see you, even though this campus is entirely too quiet and the energy has left, that doesn't mean that the energy has left your class or what makes our Brahmin family so special. So in this moment, we are all watching this together. Together we are Brahmins. I want to say happy Tuesday, March 31st. You're probably watching this the following day, but that's okay. I have information that is new. Um, yesterday's news is literally old news. And um, yesterday I talked about us coming back to school on April 15th and just a few short hours after we finalized that video, um, the governor has extended the at-home distance learning to um, May 1st. So what does that mean for you? Um, that means that we're gonna continue in the same format that we have already established this week through May 1st, so that's a total of four weeks of at-home learning. Um, that means that you are going to have some tests and quizzes that are done through this format so we can make sure that you have the required number of tests and quizzes once we get through the fourth nine weeks. So that also means that I need you to set a schedule. If you have not already done so, establish a routine for yourself and your learning. I want to make sure that every single one of you have the ability to finish this semester strong. You started it strong and we're going to continue with those habits of success through the end of the quarter. All right, so what does that mean that you need to do? Add this to your to-do list. Create myself a study schedule. Create a quiet environment where I can focus on my schoolwork. Establish a pattern of communication with my teachers. That could be via Schoology, discussion post, or email. Some of your teachers have Zoom office hours. Participate in office hours. That is your one-on-one -on -one connection with your teacher where you can ask questions and get your concerns handled. That doesn't mean that you have to spend the whole hour with your teacher. Those Zoom calls are designed so you can pop in and out as you need them during that specified time. If their office hours are set up on an actual phone call, take advantage of that time where you have the ability to ask your teacher those questions in the moment while you're working. If you're working, I do this all the time, as I'm moving through my work, if I have a question, I have a separate notepad that I write all my questions down. So when the time is available or when it's appropriate, I already have a list of questions that I can get answered and that will help me moving forward in my work. So these are the things that you need to be thinking about so that you can continue to be successful. All right, I have a few shout outs that I would like to extend. Um, in March, on March 4th, we had our SAT school day and when those results came back, students had scores reported to them last Thursday and the school got their mass report on Monday. We had 68 students earn a concordance score in the ELA. So congratulations to all of you. In addition to that 68, we had three students earn a concordance score in math. So congratulations to you. I am also hearing, even though I haven't seen the scores yet, that we had an additional student earn a concordance score on the ACT. So congratulations. And I've been saving these because I wanted to be able to do shout outs on our announcements. Um, senior Derek Chin was accepted to UF. Um, he is going to be doing um, their language program there and that is his dream school. So congratulations to you, Derek. I'm super excited for you. Also have another shout out. IRSC does a 
creative writing contest for our area high schools. There are four districts or counties and all of those high schools enter into the same competition. Each year we have students who perform very well and this year is no exception. Um, Ethan Adamo earned third place in the poetry competition. Congratulations, Ethan. That means he was third place overall. Um, there were different categories of submissions and all four counties enter into the same contest. So this is huge. In addition to Ethan, we also have Casey McGuire. She earned first place in her, the short story competition. So congratulations to you, Casey. We're incredibly proud of you both. All right, as we move forward, there are some things I want you to think about. Do you have your band instrument? Oh. You might need that for your grade and band. Give us a call, let us know where to find your instrument or give us a call and let us know that you're coming and we'll meet you down at um, the band room where you can pick up your instrument. AP Lang, no, AP Lit students, you have um, workbooks that you need to pick up in our main office. And then a dual enrollment biology two students, you will have work soon. Check your email, Ms. Seuss is gathering materials for you to be able to use while you are at home and you are going to need to make arrangements to come by the school and pick those up. Okay, where's your Chromebook charger? Hmm. Yes, I know. Some of you are panicking right now that you don't have a charger and you know you need to have one. So here's what I need for you to do. If you're in need of a Chromebook charger, Okeechobee High School has them available so you don't have to wait for that Amazon delivery, which is taking up to two to three weeks now. Um, we have them here, but we need to know what model Chromebook you have. So if you take your Chromebook and flip it over, on the bottom you're going to see a bunch of information. We need the model number that will begin with a letter C. It's so much easier if you just take a picture of that or write it down, give us a call, let us know that you're coming and we will have that pulled for you. Chromebook chargers are $20. We're not making any money off those suckers. We just wanna make sure that you have what you need to be successful while you're at home. Okay, I would like for you to meet Oscar. Oscar the octopus. He is a class pet here in Miss Box's room and I thought that this would be an appropriate guest to have on our announcements today. No, I'm not losing my mind in the deafening silence here at school, but I have some things that I would like to point out about Oscar that you may find some similarities to. First of all, Oscar, like many of you, is alone. Yes, his habitat is to remain alone. He does not like to interact with others. That is for his own safety and health much like many of our Browns at home. But a really cool thing about um, Oscar is that two thirds of all of his neurons are found in his eight legs. Do you know what that allows him to do? Multitask. But unlike Oscar, our, most of our neurons are found in our head. So that means that I am going to have to focus on one thing at a time in order to be successful. Hmm. Interesting. Oscar also has the unique ability to adapt. So in the different situations that he has put in, in different environments, he changes colors, morphs his shape in order to be successful and safe. This is what we're asking our Brahmins to do. Be like Oscar. Adapt to your new learning environment so that you too can be successful. All right. I can't tell you how much I miss you guys and the energy that you bring to this campus. Know that we are here for you. Reach out, communicate. That is going to be the theme over the next few weeks as we work through this transition to a new way of learning. Every single day, know that I am rooting for you to move forward, be great, and be Brahmins.